Testing, testing, uno, dos, tres. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the podcast where I constantly complain about me breathing into the microphone, even though apparently it doesn't even register in the recording. Um, so, yeah, so, uh, okay, here's another thing that I don't know if it actually affects, but sorry if I'm, like, quieter in this, in these ones. It's just that there's normally someone else in the house when I'm when I'm doing this stuff, and I feel, even though I feel like they can't really hear me or they won't even be bothered by me, I still feel, like, compelled to keep quieter, um, which might, might, might be why I was driven so insane with, uh, the reveal at the end of episode five, but why is my phone vibrating? I put it on mute. Mute. There you go. Has that ever happened? Like, your phone just ends up on sound or vibrate and you don't know why? Probably because of something stupid that you did an hour ago that you already forgot. Anyway, on Disney+, Plus, I'm being recommended Flora and Ulysses, movie about a flying squirrel, The Mandalorian, Wild Russia, Soul, Ice Age, Collision Course, because I watched 1 through 4 on here, and Secrets of Wild India. Hmm. And they got Marvel behind the map. Okay, anyway, we're here for WandaVision, obviously, so uh, just... Okay, it's just loading up right here. I'm just going to make sure everything's okay here. Ooh, okay. So this episode is called Breaking the Fourth Wall, as if we haven't done that a million gazillion times. Monica plots her return. What? Didn't she just escape in a car? Whatever, okay. Wanda navigates unsettling complications, and Vision forms a new alliance. Yeah, could does Vision die when he goes out of that dome? So literally the only way that he can survive is if he's in the dome. It's like that's almost similar to the freaking pandemic. There we go. There there is my reference to the pandemic. Every single video I tell you, I can't go a video without referencing it. Okay, I'm just gonna check this. Alright, everybody. So assuming you have your own copy probably on Disney Plus, of Season 1, Episode 7. Put the timer start to zero, and press play right now. I don't know how the loading comes up, but whatever. Great. Previously on One Division, whole bunch of stuff. I do like it, because I was thinking after Episode 4, I know I mentioned this already, but after Episode 4, I was just like, I hope that they don't go back to just these guys, but I hope that they don't just go back to Wanda and Vision. They did a good balance. So... As much as I've tried to avoid theories, I've seen theories that maybe Agnes was faking it in that car, but I don't know. Whatever. It's a complicated thing, theories, because a lot of people want to avoid them, but at the same time, they kind of want to hear about them. So they're like, haha, I was right, or haha, I knew the theory... It was. It's like you. It's like you already knew what was happening, but at the same time, you didn't really cheat. You came up with the theory on your own. The most awkward thing is when you come up with a theory right before the episode airs, and then it turns out to be right anyway, and then you can't really prove that you had the theory before the episode. Especially if you take high tech videos that take forever to make. So this is either going to come out super early or super late, because I, I'm going to like. Sorry, I feel like I'm bragging saying this, but, like, I'm going to go meet with some people in, like, the afternoon. And I have to leave at, like, 12. And, uh, so... I'm filming this at 8. Or recording this at 8. So, assuming everything turns out okay, I should be able to get it out before I have to leave. And if not, then I guess... it will come out later. Assuming my channel doesn't get terminated while I'm at work. Which would suck. Remember, after I... I, when I was editing that Pour the Fish video, I decided to put off the rest of the editing till the night, and then when I woke up that morning, I found out that my channel was going to be demonetized in a couple months. All because I didn't finish editing the Pour the Fish video. Everyone go and dislike the Pour the Fish video. That video is why I can't get money off YouTube anymore. And what, there's apparently small shootings and stuff like that at YouTube headquarters. I feel like I'm not allowed to say whatever. I'll just be quiet. Talk about the show. So where is Darcy or whatever her name is? Okay, so we're transferring over to the 2000s or what? Wait, Uno's a step back, ain't it? It's just a card game. Yeah, I remember. It was really weird. 
when I when I was a kid, and I like I think I was ten years old when I first learned to snap my fingers, and it was also ten years old when I went the first experience of thinking about nothing. My mind is always thinking about something, but there's always a rare occurrence where it's thinking about nothing. And when that happens, it feels weird. My head is just this weird silence that I just can't. Uh, it just, it. I don't know how to describe it. It just feels so weird. It's just like it's just. It, it just, it feels echoey. It feels like something's about to strike. And like, I should be thinking about something, but I can't. Whatever. So Vision isn't around. He's lying on the ground. So Wanda did a reset. Like, none of these episodes take place directly after the other one. They always, it's like a full-blown reset every single time. What is that? Sugar. Sugar what? Yeah, we get it. Everything's changing. Vitamin D milk. What the hell? Milk is vitamin D? No, the orange juice is vitamin C. It's so weird when I see orange juice and it's just like 67% vitamin C. I was like, what? Isn't this supposed to be 100%? Then all the percentages are supposed to add up to way more than 100%. That's Lucky Charms, not Sugar Snaps. Freaking liar. Want to avoid the product placement, eh? It's a crappy avoidance of... It's a crappy avoidance of product placement that you expect to see out of a low-budget thing. Okay, so, Wanda is trying to keep up the sitcom, but she can't because she's having a midlife crisis or whatever. da 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 da, -da goldfish, keyboard, VHS, a mailbox. <laughs> I almost read that on the mug, but it felt wrong. I don't know what any of these... Was that supposed to reference the Big Bang Theory or something? Like, whatever. You have the military and guns, so they've moved their campsite. Yeah, Wanda wouldn't even know, like, how far to expand the barrier, right? I don't know. I do, I do like this show. I really do like this show. I do kind of miss how it was in episode 1, 2, and 3, but at the same time, like, you know, that's kind of how it works. You expand the show out. That's how you make a proper sequel, is that you expand the story without without disrespecting the original or anything. This is such high quality. This looks like 4K quality. Jesus. Or maybe it's just because I'm sitting closer to the TV. So now Vision's with a bunch of former S.W.O.R.D. agents who are forced to be just as clones. I remember when I was doing, uh, helping out at this play thing, and the only thing that really interested me was the makeup, but I have no idea how to do that, so it was just really awkward. I just kind of helped out wherever I could. I ended up just doing the lighting, which was probably the simplest job. Oh, there she is. Aren't she the girl from the Thor movies? Oh, yeah, right, he saw her briefly. I hate that. I hate I hate that cliche that when a guy says like anything that could be interpreted as flirting to a girl, it's instantly assumed that they are flirting. Like Jesus. Yeah, what happened to Quicksilver? I, I pretty much forgot about him. Did Wanda kick him out or something? Clearly not, unless if he kicked him out on the other side of the barrier. Maybe Wanda expanded out so much so that Vision wouldn't would just keep on going and going and would find no border. So Wanda saved Vision, but Vision isn't Vision isn't even coming back. She just did it out of kindness. Wanda is going crazy. She's becoming a grandma. She's becoming senile. <laughs> I'm sorry, grandma. <laughs> My grandma's probably going to dislike the video just for saying that. She probably clicked away and didn't even hear me saying that. So Wanda doesn't know how to be comedic anymore. 
it's funny because she's trying to be funny in a weird meta way of the sitcom, and it's just not funny. Wait, what? Can you go away so that Wanda can break out on her own? I thought that if Wanda left the simulation, then the entire thing would go away, but she did leave the simulation at episode 4. Although then again, the where she was standing is almost definitely within the bit barrier of what it was now, but not what it was then, so I don't know. Maybe like she just has to stop focusing on it or whatever. She was even looking away from the simulation, so like I don't really know. She just needs to keep thinking about it or something. She does. Ha she gets her powers from the Mind Stone. Is she like smart enough that she can focus on the entire border? I mean, clearly not, because Vision Vision's like a special case where she can't see what he's doing all the time, and she can't see what all the extras were doing, where they're repeating the same motion over and over again. And if Vision touches somebody, then she can't see what they're doing. I think I have that bowl, or like a bowl similar to that. It's like a red bowl with like a white stripe, but I guess I don't know. Okay, so everything's aging. What the frick? Some stuff is going back a step. We're heading back to the 1950s. You ran out of decades, so we're going on a loop. Taste my G. So are you, like, divorced now or something? Not you, Smidgey. Smidgey doesn't know what's going on. I'm sorry if you heard that. Did you hear that? Smudge like kind of pushed the microphone into my freaking mouth. Smudgy, I gotta focus on this show. I'm already so unfocused by trying to talk and add new commentary to this podcast thing. Smudgy, Smudgy, not right now. It's okay, Smudgy, it's okay. Well, there's some salt and vinegar potato chips. I had some little ice cream bars, but they turned out all mushy, so I'm gonna have to return them. Probably not until tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, I'll stick the clip at the end if you want to see how gross and mushy they all are. Future me, remember to do that, please. I feel so exhausted. It's like I'm getting more and more tired every single day, and I was getting to the point where even sleep can't fully restore my, my, my energy. Smudgy, smudgy, smudgy. It's not right now, not right now. Not right now. It's okay, Dabu. It's okay. Yeah, I call him Dabu because his name evolved from Smudge to Smudgy to Smudgy Woody, Smudgy Woody Woo, Smudgy Woody Boo. The Boo. Dabu. Booey. Whatever. She's perfect. What? What is that? I've never been able to ride a unicycle, but then again, I don't think that I've ever tried. I'm going to try like once and just screwed up on the first try, but who wouldn't screw up on the first try? You screw up on the first time trying to ride a bike. Has there been anyone? Has there been anyone who's like gone their entire childhood without riding a bike, but then like got the idea of it, they saw other people riding a bike to the point that by the time they first rode a bike, they got it perfectly. Kind of like me when I was playing Five Nights at Freddy's. I passed through nights one, two, and three on my first try, and night four on my second try, all because that I just saw other people doing it. But then again, I feel like riding a bike would be different than that. Oh yeah, right, he can snap people out of it. Why, why, why isn't he just doing that to everybody? Or can he only do it to one person at a time? I don't think he's tried to do it to more than one person at a time. You have Thor. Damn.
I don't like seeing people punching them, punching other people, but like, that was kind of satisfying. He's too much in character. We were double booked by the agents. All of this is fake. This is this is a show in itself. And just you can just bring the audience out here. Probably be a bit ticked, but it'd be worth it. It's so weird that even in the pandemic, I've managed to be double booked a couple times. Imagine being triple booked, Jesus. Having to pick two things. Not the stork! You've lost your focus. The fact that you don't understand what's happening is the reason why everything's gone haywire. This is what you deserve. Go away, interviewer. This reminds me of that really, this commercial. The first thing that's come up is it reminds me of that commercial unedited footage of a bear, which starts out as just unedited footage of the bear, but then it gets increasingly creepier to the point that like it's don't show it to your kids. Whatever you do, do not show that video to your kids. It gets really, really scary and disturbing. But, I mean, like, you know, it, it doesn't get, like, gory or gruesome. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe I'm just underestimating what kids can handle. But I personally was terrified by it when I first saw it. Nexus, because the world doesn't revolve around you. It's perfect. Every commercial should end with that. Got a bunny! Oh, I thought that was Quicksilver. So Quicksilver is gone. He's never showing up in the MCU ever again. Like, I'm just wondering, like, will there ever be a season two of this show? Because probably not, because what the frick would you do? Like, I mean, I don't know how this is going to end, but doesn't this tie into Doctor Strange 2? So Doctor Strange 2 will essentially be the season two of WandaVision mixed in with everything else? You're quiet on the inside, what the frick? Oh, I guess that'd be people who are really loud, but like never reveal their true ideas or whatever. So the guy, the boy in the who's not in the green sweater, he has the ability to like sense stuff, so that's why he's able to say stuff. Oh, I thought she said step on for a second. Whatever. I don't care. Does everyone in this show have blue eyes? What the hell? What? Why is she dressed up like Interstellar? I, I didn't see the full Interstellar movie. I remember watching for an hour and getting so bored. And I was like, I, did, I, I was over saying stuff. I was saying I rate this movie a zero or whatever. Then someone was like, oh, stop whining and moaning, mate. It's like, oh, okay, sorry. I'm sorry. I remember once I asked him, like, Did, have you ever yelled at me other than that one time? And he was like, nah, after you insulted my favorite movie. How dare you, Sarah? I'll be run over in the streets. God, I feel so bad for that. Uh, uh, man. I'm sorry. Man. Happened years ago. Jesus. I hope that, like, me maybe revealing that knowledge to the public or allowing the public to hear it would make me feel better. But honestly, I just kind of feel worse about it because it just kind of brought back more memories. Forgot about the time where he said, I'll have you run over this. Obviously, it was a joke. We were just laughing about it, but it's nice to laugh about something that you guys were upset about before. I want potato chips. They're just in the kitchen. I can pause recording and go get them, but I'm not sure if I want to do that. Because then I'd have to eat them and then continue the recording. Because it's not like I could eat potato chips while I have a microphone right up to my mouth. I mean, I don't know. If it doesn't register the breathing, maybe it's just programmed to cut out the breathing.
Shouldn't, shouldn't you want to slow down? Wait, why do you have to fight your way in? I, I thought that it was like you get sucked in. Or Wanda just pulls you in. Maybe Wanda chooses what she wants. Maybe this is why everything started going crazy is because she's trying to get this thing in. Like when like when she just put her hand there, Wanda was like, okay, you want in? Then come on in. But this she doesn't want to come in. Get Superman or Vision and have him fix whatever. Where are the other Avengers? I mean, granted, Wanda, Vision, and Quicksilver is a good team, but Wanda's evil and Quicksilver is gone and Vision's in the border? Are, is Darcy and Vision going to, like, drive their car out of the border and they're going to have it, like, sticking halfway out of the border with Vision in the back of the car so that he stays within the border? And then they can communicate, like, through the car? Aww. Oh, it's half a tr truck as well. It became a, uh, became a uh, whatever. Was there a material that like, a material that like, it won't change? Just 80s technology or whatever fits the decade? Or is there some sort of tech universal technology that'll always whatever? Jesus, her soul's getting ripped out of her body. Well, even though it's breakfast, I'm going to go get some potato chips, because I just want potato chips. Future me stopping now. Alright, so I had some duck food. If you get that reference, you're a legend. And also, it wasn't really that. I just wanted to check on the recording, too. Although, then again, I could have gone to testing. Testing before I started this, because it was technically a few minutes, but whatever. To, to what, what, what? She's having all these memories of what... The, the, these are quotes from the Captain Marvel movie that I never saw, eh? What the frick? What? What? Is she keeping her memory so that she goes in unchanged? Does she make it unchanged? What the frick is wrong with her eyes? This time that goes off every half an hour to remind me that I have to leave at 12. Right now it's approaching 8.30. What the frick is wrong with her eyes? I don't understand. This is this is creeping me out. I feel like my mom isn't going to like this because she hates eye stuff. She can see... She, okay, there we go. So she went in unchanged, and now she's seeing how distorted the place is? What was the point of that astronaut suit? I don't understand what the point of it was. I guess just as hopeful protection? Darcy, you have to explain better than this. Although, then again, she didn't see the movie like we did. Okay, Darcy, just explain it in detail, okay? I, I, I'm sorry, Mom, if you're listening, but here's spoilers for Avengers Infinity War like you care. So, it's like they're trying to explain... It's, try, it's like they're trying to explain what happened without spoiling Avengers Infinity War. Like, what the frick? Um, you can just go. There are no cops. There are cops, you just keep going. Vision, snap out of it. Snap out of it. You have to snap out of it, Vision. Can you just go around... I'm not amused. I'm amused. This is honestly the funniest thing that's happened in the episode so far. Darcy! Okay, go, go to the left. Go to your left, because that's where the people are coming from. You can make it around them. The people could stretch infinitely to the right, but not to the left yet, as long as you kept them in your sight, which Vision hopefully has. He's super Vision. He's got super Vision. Vision. Because he's a superhero. STEM? What? 
Yeah, I always wondered, imagine if you had like a knob on the side of your head that switches you, like all you have to do is switch it, it's like switch it, and then you instantly die. I mean, granted, there'd be people dying all over the place by accident. But then again, like, what if it's not like you die? Like it is, but like you can just switch yourself back on again. So it's like if you're having trouble going to sleep, you can just flip the switch. But then someone else would have to come by and flip it back on for you to wake up. Sorry boss, I was late for work because I accidentally got my switch flipped. I want to go to the parallel universe where that's a common saying. Red, yellow, and green dishes, just like the traffic light. Someone's going to make a theory video about that and I just pointed at whatever, I don't care, who cares. One day you freaking. <laughs> All she does is tell the truth. All you do is lie, you jerk. Ooh, she's got powers too. She's got powers too. She's got powers too. What you gonna do now, Wanda? It's you and Vision versus her. I, I mean, it's you versus her and Vision. Vision isn't even around, so it's just you versus her. Whatever. like good versus evil her powers are red and her powers are blue who the, the white guy villain like like what what is he even doing why is he a villain we didn't need another villain in this whatever Maybe I'm just ticked because we were looking for female villains. There's barely any female villains. And we finally get a female villain. And it's like, oh, but there's this white guy villain who's even worse. Whatever. Because it's my truth. And the truth is enough of Wonder Woman 1984. Stupid movie. Stupid movie. So it's you and Agnes versus, no, it's her and Agnes versus Vision and her, but Vision still isn't around, and now they just left, so it's just her versus nobody. Oh, her. Frick you, Wanda. Frick you, frick you, frick you, frick you, frick you. Poor background characters. And they don't even care, because they got to stay in the sitcom world. Oh, that was quick. I thought they were going to stay for like days. Yeah, it's always so awkward when you're on field trips and then you're crossing on all of these. Don't give her ideas. But like you're crossing and then like people are holding up the traffic and then you feel kind of bad, especially if you're towards the back of the line or the front of the line, because then you feel like you need to hurry it up. Yeah, exactly, Vision. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. This should be after the show. I always wondered how people do that, you know, in shows like that, where they, where it suddenly cuts to them talking. What the frick? It suddenly cuts to them talking about what happened before, and I'm just like, so this must have been filmed after the episode was completed, but are they literally, like, recalling exactly what happened? I, mean, I don't know. I mean, obviously, it's not it's not that hard to recall what's happened earlier in the day. But, like, if enough stuff happens, you're going to forget some stuff. Unless someone reminds you of, of it, I guess. I don't know. I guess human memory is a lot stronger than I think. Like someone said at work, they're like, how do you remember what everyone gets? Which is what I was wondering before. Hey, I used to watch this show. I have no idea what it's called, but it's just bringing back insane deja vu. Like, I've seen this show before. And then someone, and then I remember I was wondering that when I first came in, and then you just kind of, it kind of just kind of sinks in. They're like, it must be a lot of memory work. I'm just like, well, memory strengthens with repetition. The more you do it, the more you're, you, the more it just kind of sinks in, kind of like the alphabet. Well, go check on them. She's a good mom, at least. Why is her hair red? Because wasn't it brown originally? 
Like, did she just dye it red? I don't know. I know that that's probably not important. Maybe some theory videos that pretend like it's important. Maybe it is important. Who knows? But whatever. She's wearing red, too. Maybe it's because she's Scarlet Witch. It fits with her name, even though she hasn't even been called Scarlet Witch all this time. Whatever. Why does outside it look like it's winter? I mean, outside for me, it is winter. But this is being recorded in February in Canada. I swear to God, like, a couple years from now, it's going to start snowing in October. No, it's going to start snowing in, like, February, and then it's going to end snowing in, like, October. <laughs> we'll have a nice three months with no snow, plus, like, two half of a month, so it's, like, four months. Whatever. Okay, what? So this isn't a basement? The brightness is too low. Well, thanks. Thanks, cabinet. You're helping a little bit, I guess. The color there is kind of helping. Huh? Okay, so theories are correct about Agnes. What, what is she doing? Her name was somewhat close. There are people at work who call me Malcolm and stuff like that, and I just say, well, you sound roughly like my name. Okay, what? She, her, her eyes glow purple. What the frick? Who's been mad? <laughs> well, the theory videos were right. Theory videos were right. This is, yeah, this is funny. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> I feel weird about laughing because it's like just breathing into the microphone, even though apparently that doesn't even register, but whatever. So what, she knows about the X-Men universe, or what? Okay, so she was faking it. <gasps> you evil B-word. Oh, that was it? God damn it. Those are still like seven minutes. Normally the credits take up six minutes. Where did Vision go? He just took off. Darcy was acting like an idiot anyway. These episodes are too short. Be like, I saw people complaining about, like, you know, this is it's just going to be like, you know, we keep on waiting a week just to see another half hour, and then it just never feels like enough, so it just always ends up leaving us unsatisfied. Yeah, mate, welcome to how I felt watching the entire season four of The Good Place. I kept on waiting a week. I'd always be excited on Thursday, because it means that I get to go home and watch another episode of The Good Place, but... Half the time, I wouldn't even end up be satisfied with the episode. Sometimes I felt like it wasn't even a good episode. Whatever. Okay. I'm just wondering, you know, like, it feels a little bit strange, because I, cause I saw theories saying, maybe it's Agnes or whatever. I wonder what Jeremy Johns is going to say about this. Because, you know, as he said, like, it was pretty vague, the she, she's in my head, but it looks like it's Wanda. But whatever. It's just like, it just makes me wonder, like, you know, it must have been really comedic if you didn't know that. If you didn't know the theories. It's like, it was Agatha all along. It was like very direct lyrics. Anyway. So she's got purple powers. Scarlet Witch has got red powers. And uh, Monica, is that her name? Has blue powers. And Darcy has no powers. And Vision just has all the powers. Okay, there we go. After credit scene. I wanted to wait. Because I swear, every episode until now hasn't had post credit scene, but I, I'm so glad that I that I kept going. Or that hopefully the recording doesn't crash now. I could have just restarted and been like, Hey guys, uh, there's a post credit scene! Who was that? Was it Quicksil? Damn it. I didn't see what it was. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm rewinding. I know that I'm not supposed to do that with the podcast. I think it was Quicksilver. I, I just saw, I just heard a male voice and I wasn't looking. See, this show is not for people like my stepmom because she's always looking at her phone and stuff like that. And this show, if you look away for a second, you miss something. 
There we go. Snoopers gone snoop. All right, whatever. Thank you guys for listening. Like, dislike, comment down why, subscribe, and hey, I wonder if the next episode is going to pick up directly after that post credit scene, and people are going to be like, what? And they're going to be like, should have stayed for the post credit scene? Okay, whatever. Bye bye. And starting in. I, I don't understand. What, what, why? Are they seriously all, all of them are like this? Like, literally all of them? Why do they all, every single one of them? Every single one of them? Literally?